She now stars in the Netflix remake of Norman Lear's classic 1970 sitcom. Remember this, One Day at a Time? The new version follows three generations of a Cuban-American family in Los Angeles. Makeup makes you beautiful. Beauty gives you power. And that is why I never let anyone see me without it. I just realized my whole life I've never seen you without makeup. Yes, you have. My baby pictures. <laughs> Even in those, you had your ears pierced. Oh, without earrings, I look ridiculous. Marino Marino joins us at the table. Beauty gives you power. I love that line. So you must be very powerful, Rita Moreno. I feel powerful. Well, you know, this is funny. I am power. Yes, I'm power. <laughs> because they, they, you're described as a feisty diva. Why Look do you suppose they thing. cast that you? I can't. You know, <laughs> yeah. that's what I said. Who would have sunk that they give me a part like this yes. where I'm just nothing but big yes. and theatrical? Norman Lear came up to you and said what? He came up to me at a, at a fundraising dinner and said, I want you in my, my new show. And I had no idea what he was talking about. I said, OK. <laughs> you didn't know what it was? No. And then I said, what is it? Uh -huh. And he said, one day at a time. And uh, the rest is going to be history, because it is a terrific show. And is Norman involved in every part of it? Every bit of it. That old fart. He's 94. <laughs> <laughs> How many? I say he's an old fart. I'm 85. So. Yeah. <laughs> How many episodes? Uh, 13. 13. Netflix. Wow. And yeah. uh, it starts on Friday. Yeah. And I, it premieres Friday. The well, sixth. it's a new take on it, Rita, right. because yeah. you, you, you play. Tell, tell people the cast how it works. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's about a uh, husbandless, really, uh, family. A uh, young woman named uh, uh, Justina Machado, who's yes. a fabulous actress, by the way, and very funny, uh, is the mother of two teenagers. I am the mother of the mother who uh, thinks she is God's gift, yeah. which mm -hmm. is always fun to play. Yeah. I mean, she's very vain, full of herself, and uh, very theatrical, very, very but Cuban. Do you know what I'm saying to you? I know what you're saying, but you know, it was interesting when I read that you said you were worried about memorizing your lines. I, I'm so Why? glad you brought that up. Yeah. Well, you know, Why? at the time I was 84 when we shot this series. And now you're 85. <clears throat> I'm yeah. 85. Yeah. And uh, I was searching for words. I mean, that, that does happen. Uh, but what happened, what I learned from it is that when you engage your brain, it's absolutely true what they say. When you engage your brain, it just keeps getting fatter and richer and wonderful. And by the time we had done 13 episodes, I was memorizing like this. Ah. And that encouraged me then to accept a two-month tour right afterward, right. doing my night, my cabaret act, <laughs> and doing, engaging, it's yeah. all about engaging, right. and yeah. doing, because I also do talks. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I did that for two months, and look at me. Look yeah. how alert I am. But I still don't know where my keys are. No, but Rita, <laughs> no, but Rita people always say keys. Keys are not important. None of us. No. That's no. right. Yeah. That's right. That's why you don't remember. The hell with the keys. Who cares? That's right. That's right. It is. It's you remember what's important. It's called selective remembering. But people look at you, Rita, and say, "God, look at the work she's had done. She looks so great." Oh, you mean my face? Yes. <laughs> my daughter says. Get a kick out of that. But I love this. That to you. It makes me laugh. Because there's no work. Yeah, I know. But, but I know. Uh, my daughter w uh, was at a talk that I did recently, and the two women next to her at intermission said, with the most confidence in the world. Yeah. As people yeah. do. Yeah. I know. Well, you know, she's had work done. <laughs> 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 I mean, with the, the, it's like somebody said to her, and she said, I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. A lot of people say that. And you know what? Yes. What are you going to do? Right. I, I don't right. care. What do you attribute right. this good I, look to? Good though. jeans. Yeah. Yeah, good jeans. That's, that's Caribbean right. jeans. Right. Right. My mom was like go. that. My daughter does look also, her age. How about the life you've lived? Yeah. yeah. What about my life? Well, I mean, you've lived. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of life? Active. I mean, I've had many of them. Well, which yeah. one are you referring to? <laughs> the Marlon well, Brando yeah. episode, the Elvis yeah. Presley. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was better. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I mean, Elvis was a sweet, darling, shy fellow, but he was really boring. Really? Yeah. And Marlon could not be more interesting. Boring to me at the time. He was really a nice guy, but he was boring. Marlon. Marlon. Mm. Wow. What a brain. What an astonishing man he was. Uh -huh. He damn near killed me, but never mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's a good to be able to be here and tell the story. Yeah. How did he, he damn, damn near kill you? Me. Yes. How? Yes. yes. With misery and uh, ladies, Ooh. and uh, it was a tempest. You weren't the only one. 
Eight years. Is that right? Eight wow. years. You were was together like, with him for eight years? Read the damn book, for oh. God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that either. I'm if sorry. you had done your homework, oh. I wouldn't be telling these stories. No, now, it, so it, let, let me ask you this. Do you think it's important you tell the stories so that people will want to no, read No, I corroborate the stories. <laughs> Don't tell me I tell them. I corroborate them, Charles. All right. <laughs> Charles, yes. I, I love you for saying that. That's what yes. my mother used to call me. Charles? Mm -hmm. Well, I had a doggy name. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I remind you of your doggy? I remind you of your doggy? The doggy's name was Charlie Gordon. Oh. Charlie G Gordon was my husband's Ms. Husband. Ms. Raina, today is Charles' birthday. Yes. He's 75. Do you have what any, do you think about any, that? Can I, can I do a little bit of the Marilyn Monroe? Yep. Yes. Oh, please. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Can I go over to you? Yes. 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 Come on. Get let your me, butt let me, here. Let me move out of the way. <laughs> I don't have a butt. I have a culito. <laughs> culito? <laughs> oh but I'm going to do it the way Lydia does it in One Day at a Time. Right, okay. With the accent? Yes. 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 I'm gonna come. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Charlie Rojo. Hey, you're too cooperative. <laughs> Watch the hands. He knows yeah. what he's doing. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. If he puts his hands under here, stop him, okay? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Thank you. You're right. We can't stop that. We'll be right back. Thank you, Rita. Good luck with the show. Thank you. Oh, Charlie, you're such a good sport. Bravo, bravo, bravo.